The Season 4 Reloaded mid-season update is now here and it's a big update. Again, like last season, it's coming in two parts, certainly for console players. So I'm going to explain how you install these two different parts of the update in a second, but first let's just have a quick look at what's new in the update. So the big thing, 200 player Warzone increased from what we were on before which was 150 players. So this at the moment is in, just in Battle Royale quads, don't know whether they're going to be adding it to the other modes at some point, but they've said this is a limited time mode of quads 200 players. So I'm assuming they're going to see how this goes, see if the servers can handle it, see what people think about it before rolling it out to other modes. We've got a new supply run contracts. Upon activation, you and your squad will be directed to a nearby buy station. Reach it within the time limit to get a discount on buy station purchases. So this sounds similar to the fire sale event that randomly happens during the game, but obviously the fire sale happens for everybody, whereas this is just for you and your squad. And I'm guessing it's going to direct you to the nearest buy station. And you've got a limited time to buy your gas masks and other stuff at a discount. And then the other big thing is the new spotter scope that you can find within the game. It says, think of this as a high powered scope without the glint. So it's a reusable scope, kind of like binoculars, that lets you scan the environment around you and mark enemies without being detected. So it's like a, a sniper scope that you can look off into the distance and mark enemies that you perhaps wouldn't normally be able to see that far away. And I'm guessing it, it then uh, you can ping them like you can with when you see enemies up close so that your teammates can see where they are. So we've got a few changes to playlists. We've got Cheshire Park 24-7, Shoot the Ship 24-7, Team Defender, a few general fixes, uh, improved stability for PC players, fixes, fixes to certain skins, certain camos not working properly, little HUD ele elements not working. But then the big thing that everybody's been talking about, they've made quite a few changes to a lot of the weapons within the game. Now some are good, increasing the aiming down, down sight speed and things like that on certain weapons but two of the big ones that I know everybody is talking about is they've slightly nerfed the MP5 and the Grau. So both the MP5 and the Grau have had their damage range reduced and also on the Grau they've reduced the recoil compensation from two of the barrels so you're actually going to have reduced damage range and slightly increased recoil which obviously from what I'm seeing all over the internet the Grau is probably the most popular weapon within Warzone at the moment. So if Grau is your favourite weapon, will this make you change to a different weapon? You'll have to try it out in the new update and see what you think, see if it's made a massive difference. Everybody was not looking particularly happy about this, saying that it's going to make a massive difference. They're going to have to change to a different gun because the Grau is no longer going to be their favourite weapon. So let me know what you think. Okay, so moving on to how you install this update. So if you're on console, the update should install in the normal way if you've got it set to automatically update it should either download itself while your console is asleep or certainly like with mine mine doesn't auto update for some reason so as soon as I turn my console on modern warfare will then start updating itself and this is quite a big update it's 30 odd gig so it's going to take a while depending on your internet connection then once that is downloaded if you only want to play warzone then you can jump straight into the game. That's all you need to get straight into Warzone. This update is now done. However, if you want to play multiplayer, there is actually a second separate pack that you need to download. So if you go into the game, you'll see on the main menu that if you go across to multiplayer, it will say you need to install a pack. So if you click on that, it should then take you, this is on Xbox, it will take you to the Microsoft Store where you see the, the pack after you've chosen it in this list it will take you through to the Microsoft Store to download the pack so then you've got to wait for this additional pack that's going to download and once that's done you then need to quit out of Modern Warfare back to your home screen on your Xbox and then load Modern Warfare back up for the update to take effect and then you'll be able to get into multiplayer and you'll be fully updated so hopefully that's helped you out. Let me know if you managed to get into the into the game today and you managed to get it all updated. I know, unfortunately, these people with uh, slow internet connections, they could be waiting a day or more for, for it to download because it is a huge update. 
so hopefully you won't be waiting too long and you can jump straight in.